A Gallup poll shows most Americans believe transgender athletes should not be able to compete in girls and women's sports. And another effort in the House to censure Congressman Adam Schiff, our Washington insider. Armstrong Williams joining us now with the latest headlines on Capitol Hill. Good morning to you, sir. Happy late Father's Day to you, by the way. Thank Let's you. begin with this uh, new Gallup poll, which found 69% of Americans believe that transgender athletes should participate in sports with their biological sex. And you know, Armstrong, considering what we've seen with these boycotts and, and backlash, many say this is not surprising. What's your thoughts? No, it is not. It's what is shocking how the voices of the few are trying to shut down the voices of the many. Uh, we're not talking about people who are discriminate, who discriminate, who are anti whatever. It's just that people believe uh, in fair competition. Men should not compete with women to race all the what they placed into trying to be an athlete, uh, win those highest honors, and eventually win the championship. There's a time and place of everything, and they just don't want men playing in women's sports, calling themselves biological males. It's just, it's just not, it's not cool, Jan. And I think it's even higher than six, six or some percent. I find this so interesting too. What you said earlier. Why is it that the minority, what appears to be the minority percentage, in this and in any of these uh, particular cases, why are they the ones deciding, oftentimes, what the legislation is going to be? Well. It has to do with money. Uh, there's this perception in the Biden administration and in Congress that this this um, this transgender lobbyists they have a lot of money and a lot of power, and so and then you have people who are also very sympathetic to their lifestyle in the media, in the institutions that have the influence and they continue to push this narrative. Where sometimes you forget what it is you really believe. But I think something is even more dangerous that's going on here, Jan. I, I don't know if you remember um, Alfred Kenny in the late 1940s. He taught that all sexual acts, whether it's from prostitution to pedophilia, are equally legitimate. He also promoted that children of any age should be encouraged to have sex. This is just a continuation. Remember, transgenderism is something from ancient times. It's nothing new. It was from the pun. But it was not condemned. And all of a sudden, because they want respect uh, and they want to be acknowledged, uh, they want to use the laws and the policies of this country. But if you don't feel I am fine respect within, you're not going to find it without yourself. Laws cannot legitimize you feeling good about yourself. You can pass all the laws in the world. And this is what's going on in this country from the gay pride parades, from all these things that are going around the country. They want legitimacy, they want respect. I'm sorry, I want to talk about Adam Schiff very quickly. Uh, House, uh, uh, former House Intelligence Committee Chair, Representative Anna Paulina Luna now planning to try again and censure him. And this time she believes it's going to happen because she removed that $16 million fine that caused 20 Republicans to initially vote against it. Tell us more about this new plan and what it ultimately means, Armstrong. Jen, let's remind ourselves that the former chair of the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, lied abuse sensitive information made us believe that the Russian collusion was real and legitimate, knowing it was a hoax. He knew it was a hoax. He was doing the bidding of, of the Clinton and the Steele dossier. I mean, why is it that only when there are conservatives that the full um, justice is, 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 is in full tow to remove them from office, to investigate them, to bring justice, but yet with the, if it's a Democrat like Adam Schiff, a Joe Biden, a Hunter Biden, a anybody, the Clintons, anybody else, the justice, the tier justice is entirely different. Listen, Adam Schiff should not get a pass. Think about the millions and millions and millions of dollars that were spent. Think about the media that enabled this narrative. They knew it was a lie. Think about those intelligence community that signed on to this lie. I mean, this is, this is a total breach of trust that you place in these elected officials. And what she's doing, is honorable, it's legitimate, and Adam Schiff should pay some kind of price, especially if he raised money off this lie, he should be forced to give all that money back to taxpayers. Finally, Armstrong, on this Juneteenth holiday, how do you remember its importance to Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation? Well, Jan, just think about this. Think about if you and I were born during that time. And in 1863, during the American Civil War, Lincoln issued an Emancipation Proclamation and declared that three million slaves, you and I and our families are among those slaves, 
living in the Confederate states are free. And just think about this. It wasn't until two years later on June 19th that the last of African, the last of African Americans living in Texas finally got the news that it, they were free. It was not until those Union soldiers, um, it was not until those Union soldiers arrived in Galveston, Texas on June 19th, 1865, that the state's residents finally learned that slavery had been abolished. Wow. That is history. That is amazing. It tells you how much time has changed because with social media, it, we would have known in seconds. So yes, it's worthy of celebration and it's something for us to remember. Um, almost two years later was when the final slaves were free to realize that Emancipation Proclamation was real and times were beginning to change. Yeah, and we commemorate that day today. Armstrong, always great to see you, my friend. Have a great week. Thank you, Jen. Thank you.